Hello everybody and welcome back to Analog Vernacular. Today we're going to be playing some more triangle strategy and we're going into the alternate chapter 8 now. So um, let's go. It sounds like we're going to have to be sa saving our uh, friend Roland. So um, Gustadoff is planning on beheading him and I'm sure that this is just a carefully thought out and laid out trap by Gustadoff himself. He knows that we're not going to allow this to happen and he, I think he's News banking on it. News of Prince Roland's coming execution is carried far and wide. In the blink of an eye, the kingdom of Glenbrook is no more. The realm reels from the tragic turn of events. Prince Roland's death marks an uncertain change in the flow of history. A change which none in the old kingdom have the power to reverse. However, the eruption of conflict in the region does not go unnoticed by its neighbors. In the holy state of Hyzant, opportunistic hearts stir. Weather the storm. My dearest friend has been sentenced to die, and there is naught I can do. What use is a lord's position if he can't even save those closest to him? Saranoa, you mustn't... Is it true? Another ravenous dog is stirring? It is. We face none other than Minister Sorcelay End, one of the saintly seven. It seems he means to take our domain for his own. House End? Their position in Hyzant has been in decline for some time. Doubtless, Sorcelay means to use the Walford domain to bolster his flagging influence. Oh, my lord. Interesting. Our soldiers have had scarce little time to rest since our last battle. So, would this be around the same time that Sorcelay ends up getting murdered or uh, uh, killed because we uh, we kind of flip things on him? We need to compare this to the route in uh, the, the original route we did. So, we're going to look at that when we get the chance. I fear for their morale if they were forced to take the field against Hyzant. Is there not we can do? We have sent request for aid to House End more than once, my lord. However, our pleas have always fallen on deaf ears. Doubtless Sorcelay has been biding his time to strike. Then it is too late for words. There must be something we can do to avoid straining our already ragged forces. There is, my lord. However... I dread the words that follow however when they come from you. Let us ask the Archduke for assistance. Are you mad, Benedict? We must needs focus on the matter in front of us. If we weather this storm, we may see that it has unearthed unseen opportunities. However, if we let Sorcelay's advance continue unabated, I'm afraid retreat may be our only option. You are right, as usual. Very well. Ready a bird. How are we... We have to be able to help Roland, right? They're not just going to actually kill him, are they? If that happens in this playthrough and then we don't have him for the rest of the playthrough, I'm going to be pretty upset. Ooh, we got a bunch of character stories. Um, okay, we'll look at those in a minute. Sorcely of the Saintly Seven marches on Wolfort and waits for his moment to strike. This fucking snake, man. Your Excellency, our troops have boarded and are awaiting your orders. I wonder if we'll uh, actually get to fight Booker in this one. Good. Stand by until I give the order to depart. We make for the Wolfort Domain. Upon the foundations of their keep, we shall build the glory of House End. Tell the troops, they shall be well rewarded for their feats of bravery this day. Yes, Your Excellency.
All right, Lionel joins House Wolfort in a shameless bid to fill his coffers. Something I forgot to mention is that when I was doing those missions, I was leveling up uh, the last two characters that I hadn't been leveling up, so uh, that means Lionel and Piccoletta have uh, been getting some levels, so um, I, I'd been just doing that kind of passively, so just so everybody knows. Five of these is a lot. Damn. Hail and well met, my good fellow. Lionel greets you most heartily. Ah, Clara spoke of you. Lionel, you say? The very same, and in a position of privilege for which he is most grateful. A privilege that he would be most happy to share with the consortium, that it might prove to our mutual benefit. Oh. A fellow man that? with an eye for profit, I see. What privilege have you brought me today? A worldly fellow such as yourself has doubtless heard rumors of Hyzant's clandestine research projects, yes? Indeed I have. Developing weapons of devastating power, unlocking the secrets of eternal life. What if Lionel were to tell you that Hyzant has, in fact, created an elixir that offers everlasting youth? I would be intrigued, and then I'd ask you how you could possibly know such a thing. It's a simple matter of logic. Think. Why would Hyzant hide the existence of so wondrous a panacea? Hmm. I suppose they'd want to keep such power to them and theirs. Just so. The only thing kings and nobles covet more than salt is life itself. <laughs> My lord is no exception. What are you saying? That those you serve have procured this miracle drug? Lionel has found himself welcome within nobility's most inner circles, he is proud to say and privy to their secret conversations. He also finds himself in possession of a certain medicine, a medicine he would be happy to part with a share of for the right price. A price I'd be more than willing to pay for such an incredible elixir. Do tell me, what exactly does it do? Um, Lionel is totally fleecing this guy, is it, right? What doesn't it do? Oh, God. Its imbiber is blessed with unyielding vigor, unflagging stamina, and unmitigated vitality. Read between the lines on that one. Demand has proven <laughs> so overwhelming that Lionel cannot hope to deliver the goods all on his own. He would be willing to share his profits with the right partner, however. If you've won the nobles' trust, then I see no reason to hesitate in helping you take some of their coin. Very well. Let me see the goods. This is just ED medicine, isn't it? <laughs> That's what he means by everlasting youth. Oh, God. Vigor and vitality, huh? <laughs> that makes ten who put their lust for coin before their capacity for reason. This is almost too easy. I know, be careful, look up. With a few rumors and a respected name at his disposal, Lionel could sell these gullible fools their own shoes. <laughs> They're welcome to help themselves to this purgative. And if one or two of them is remarkably long-lived, then all the better for Lionel. <laughs> and are you content to make your fortune on the backs of fools? Oh, it's just Anna. I couldn't tell. Oh, you? How long have you been there? Purgative. Strongly laxative in effect. A laxative. <laughs> okay. Since the morning, that's our word Benedict's for the day. Orders. Hmm. Your overseer is too kind. However. You may return and inform him that Lionel needs no protection. His work to bring fortune to House Walfort 
requires the utmost concentration, and the presence of others can prove an unnecessary distraction. Oh yeah, in the next one he's gonna get himself into some big, big trouble. Yana's gonna have to save his bacon. All right, Grandma Groma. Groma speaks to Gila of her past and her regrets as the Iron Fist of the war 30 years past. So, funny thing, in one of the uh, in one of the first missions, uh, the Iron Fist is mentioned, um, which was kind of fun. And you actually get to meet uh, Flanagan at the uh, before the tourney as well. So, Iron Fist is mentioned. Flanagan was there. So was um, uh, Milo. There's a whole bunch of little things that they planted right at the beginning of the game that you don't realize are going to be like characters that you're going to be interacting with in a big way. I thought that was kind of fun. Might I sit here for a bit? If you don't mind the company of this old maid, you're more than welcome. Well now. Shall we have ourselves a little chat to pass the time? By all means. I would like nothing more than to hear of your exploits in the Salt Iron War. I have read much of your surpassing prowess on the battlefield, but would be honored to learn more in your own words. Oh, child. That was so many, many years ago. How many enemies did I fell on the battlefield? I long since lost count. They say my very name was feared throughout the land. You and others may call them exploits. The truth is, I was nothing more than a skilled dealer of death. You sound as if you regret it. Against fellow soldiers and warriors like myself? No, that is simply the way of war. But my acts also brought suffering to those who did not deserve it. The Roselle, for example. The Roselle? How so? Were they forced to fight? I was leading a siege on the citadel of the Sands in Hyzant, not far from the source. The Hyzantian commander was a worthy foe. The battle drew on, and we were losing men and resources with little to show for it. Seeking to end the battle quickly, I chose to raise the fort with wildfire, and so it fell. All too late did I learn that its jails were filled with Roselle, captured slaves who had fled servitude at the lake. Oh, But you did not know they were there. You can hardly blame yourself for that. That is fate. pretty sad, though. Do you think the Roselle who roasted to death would say the same? What of their families? You cannot forgive yourself for this. Even so many years later. And why should I? Because my countrymen sing of me as a hero? To this day, visions of charred bodies lying in the rubble haunt me. Lumps of burnt flesh that were once men and women who wished only for their freedom. At first, I tried to forget. But the weight of my sins was too heavy to bear. And so I abandoned everything and left my home behind. Fortunately, I had already trained a protege to follow in my place. And ever since then, you've wandered the realm alone? Yes. But no matter how far I traveled, I could not escape my regrets. And now, Norzelia finds itself embroiled in another bloody struggle. The horrors of the past come anew. If fighting is all I am good for, then the least I can do is fight for peace. It may not atone for the death and suffering I have wrought, but at least it may save others from the same fate. I... I'm sorry. It was not my intention to make you relive such painful memories. <laughs> Worry not, lass. Truth be told, it's something I've been hoping to get off my chest for a while now. But this old maid's rambled on long enough, I reckon. Thank you for the company, child. 
So Groma is one of the characters that I don't use a lot, and that like leads me to wonder, like, I'm, I'm interested in hearing from all of you who are also playing this game, like, uh, the characters that aren't part of my main team, uh, that I don't use very much, um, Hasabar is kind of in and out a little bit, so is Yulio, um, but as for, like, people that I haven't used, like, almost at all, I mean, I've used Yen's in and out a little bit too, but I haven't used a ton of Groma or Lionel or Picoletta. Let me know about those characters. And obviously, I haven't used uh, K Hawk yet a lot, but uh, I do plan on trying to try to utilize him and figure out how to use him fairly well. He has some cool abilities. I just don't know how to use him yet, so um, we'll definitely be trying him out. But let me know about the characters that I don't use as much, and uh, let me know how you like to use them. I'm interested. Um, okay, K-Hog. He has the ability to see through time, but his visions are not always happy ones. So you can peer through time. How did you come to possess such a power? I cannot say. I've been having these visions for as long as I can remember. Hmm. Were I able to see the future like you, I could be of more use to House Wolfort. It isn't all good, you know. Anna's involved in a lot Sometimes of Sometimes you see things you wish you hadn't. I saw myself being abandoned by my mother. She's one of my favorite characters, but clearly the, the developers love her too. He is in your hands now. Here is the money we agreed upon. Take this, too. Thank you for your generosity. I shall take good care of him. You shall speak of this to no one. Make sure he wants for nothing. I will return for you one day, Kohog. Until that time, be good. Whoa, hold up. That's Lila. That's her voice actress. That's Lila right now. No way. Huh. They obscured her for a reason, which got me thinking. I'm like, okay. And then I was like, wait, that voice. We know that voice. And then the vision ends. Whenever I think of my mother, I always see that woman. I don't understand it at all, but I know that lady is my mother. She promised she would return, but she never came back. I want so badly for like good things to happen for Lila because she seems like she's done bad things, but like she has such a potential for good. Oh, man. I've asked yeah. the villagers what my mother gave them, but they claim to have received nothing. I know I saw it, though. Have you had visions of your mother since? No. She left me after all. Oh, mother. Why? And where are you now? Kohog. Yeah. His mom is Lila. The plot thickens, huh? Um, alright. Picoletta and... Oh, hey, the other one is uh, Medina. Um, I really want one with, uh, with Decimal. I hope we get Decimal soon. Beneath the star-filled sky, Picoletta recalls her days in the circus. are so pretty. They're always so bright, no matter where I go. You were in a circus, right, Picoletta? Yep. We performed in all kinds of places together. The people in the circus were from all over, too. 
There were people from Glenbrook, people from High Sant. But when the war started, the circus broke up. Our circus master was from Esfrost, and he said he had to go and fight for his country. Even the poor animals were all taken away. They were like my family. Picoletta. But I won't give up. I'll help you in this war, and then I'll bring back my circus troupe. I believe in you, Picoletta. But to do that, you'll need to build up your strength. And look, it's almost time to eat. Yay! Let's eat together again today. Oh wow, that one was short. Okay. Alright, Medina pledged herself to House Wolfort so that she could save people regardless of the order of things. However... By the goddess, if it isn't my savior, I am truly in your debt. I remember you. I treated you at the ministry that day. I feared it was the end, but thanks to you, I yet live! I was not alone in treating you. And I am happy to see you well. I hear tell the infirmary was overwhelmed that day. How fortunate the other man was a uh, Rosellen. Never have I felt more blessed to belong to the goddess's flock. Praise be the goddess. May her blessings rain upon you. I do not mean to pry, but was that... Yes. It is he who survived, at the expense of the Roselin man's life. Had we treated the Roselin oh, yeah, first, I forgot about that. we might have saved them both. But I could not find the courage to disobey orders. And in the eyes of the faithful, you acted in accordance with the goddess's teachings. Denying medical treatment to non-believers is... Certainly one way for the Holy One to breed loyalty amongst Hyzant's subjects. Uh, be that as it may, if only I'd had the courage of my convictions. The courage to give both their lives equal weight. I... It is hard for one drop to alter the current. So it is. Nevertheless, I wish to try. All right, Medina, I can respect that. She's she's good people. All right. So, looking at the path traveled, um, in our other path, this is what happened. So, um, Serenoa refuses to surrender to the prince, and at the end of a long, hard battle, successfully drives Evlora and her army away. But House Wolfort does not escape unscathed either. House Wolfort has been dealt a heavy blow by his frosty army. Silvio, head of House Tellior, arrives at their domain, offering them a much-needed helping hand against the duchy and a promise of Roland's protection. Sarah Noah and his allies must decide whether to accept or deny the man's offer. That's right, and he betrays us, of course. But... Cool, which that would have led to multiple battles as well, so... Which the other one probably would have been at... Yeah, because he invited us to his domain. That's right. And so we would have probably ended up in a fight at the domain instead of at our castle. Alright, so that was just to remind ourselves what happened in the opposite route of what we did. Um, Alright, let's go ahead and continue some of this stuff. So, Castle Wolfort. Frederica and Gila discuss Gustadas' true motives for invading Glenbrook. Recent events have not quelled your desire for knowledge, I see. You make your teacher very happy, Frederica. It is progress that I can see. I enjoy the growth that comes with learning. And you should be proud. Sheila, why do you think my brother attacked Glenbrook? War is a means to an end, always. 
The question is, what end does he hope to arrive at? But what could he hope to gain by raising the castle? I can see no point to his cruelty. There is always a point, Frederica. As for whether others agree with that reasoning, well, oftentimes that doesn't matter. How dreadful. Why must it come to arms? Why can't we settle our differences with words? So long as men covet, there will be war. That fact is immutable. Then war will continue forever, so long as men exist. Isn't that what you're saying? Indeed. History has attested to that fact time and again. Too real. What could there possibly be in this world worth risking life and limb for? I cannot fathom the answer. And tis not a question you should trouble yourself with answering, Frederica. So I wonder if this will have two branching fights as well. The Archduke responds to Wolfort's request for reinforcements. Are we just not gonna address the whole, uh, you know, beheading our friend thing? I see House End has raised their banners. I can practically smell their greed from here. Doubtless that slug Sorcele is licking his lips even now. I did not think House Wolfort would deign to request aid. They surprise even me. Has the young wolf learned to swallow his pride? What should we do, Your Grace? We cannot very well be seen to ignore those under our protection. Go. And what of Prince Roland? That shall have to wait. We may have use for him yet. Damn, I don't know when we're gonna get him back. Might be a while longer then, huh? And so did the two forces converge on the Wolfort Domain, now the linchpin of the Norzellian continent. From the west, General of Laura leads the might of the Grand Duchy of Esfrost. So I wonder if she's going to be a green in our next fight then. From the east, Sorslay End of the Saintly Seven commands an army from the holy state of Hyzant. From within the heart of this maelstrom, one man strives to find the path that will see the house he serves safely through the storm. Benedict Pascal, steward of House Wolfort, wise in war and peace alike, contemplates what to do next. Gustadoff appears before the captive Roland and makes a startling request. Release his fetters. Yes, your grace. What's your game, Gustadolf? You look well, my prince. What are you doing here? I bring good tidings. Your execution has been stayed. And I have a request to make of you. What? What have you not already taken from me? The good tidings did not end with a lease on life, my prince. I mean to marry your sister. What? However, I fear that without your assistance, she may not be entirely amenable to the arrangement. Well, especially if you kill him. Has your ambition driven you mad? I'll hang before I see you wed. Hmm. I had feared you might say that. In the days ahead, do remember that at first I attempted a diplomatic approach. 
So that's his concession, huh? You bastard! I'll let you live as long as you make sure that I can marry your sister without issue. Jeez. All right, so it looks like we're going into a Scales of Conviction. Uh, House Wolfort discusses their next move amidst their ever-changing surroundings. Huh, I am intrigued about these two choices. What are they going to be? Anna. A report on our current situation, if you will. Yes, sir. Both Esfrost and Hyzant have mustered armies, and are drawing upon Castle Wolfort as we speak. Given the sudden military action, Prince Roland's execution has been stayed. Thank you, Anna. We have much to consider. Indeed. Our situation may be grim. But there is opportunity in chaos. However, we have scarce little time to find it. What are you thinking, Benedict? Are we to seriously consider fighting under Esfrost's banners? The time that House Wolfort could stand alone ended with the Salt Iron War. There is no future for us if we do not cast our lot with a greater nation. However, we at least have the freedom of choice choice. What choice do we have? I see. You had an ulterior motive to requesting aid from Esfrost. Just so. We could offer Hyzant a glorious victory. The Archduke's army would be caught off guard. Are you certain Hyzant would offer us asylum? Most certainly. House End would be eager to bolster their flagging reputation by defeating Esfrost in the field. Doubtless, both nations view us as prey on its last legs. They forget that a cornered wolf is the most dangerous. That means we must consider allying with Esfrost as well. If that is what we decide, then so be it, so long as we decide. Esfrost did not ignite the fires of war lightly. They prepared for 30 years. Even so, they would only have acted if they had confidence in their chances at victory. Do you believe Esfrost's ambition could swallow even Hyzant? That ain't the point. After what those bastards did, I can't well say I savor the thought of fighting under them. I couldn't look at myself in the mirror, in fact. Nothing would be more shameful than failing our duty to our house. So we have to decide then. Esfrost or Hyzant. Neither force has the upper hand. Our choice will surely guide the tide of battle. Very well. Then let us consult the scales. Huh, okay. So what I'm worried about is that if we go down the Hyzant route, if that will lead us back to some of the same choices that we made, um that we have to make where Sorcely might make us, you know, um, become uh, smugglers of salt. Will we fight beside S. Frost or Hyzant? I would ask the others what they think. Saw something shining. Where you at? I saw you. Where you at? Let me pick you up. Oh. Supply situation report to notes. Foodstuffs, wheat, short supply, salt, little remaining, cured meats, exceedingly short supply, weapons, insufficient, medicine, exceedingly short supply, materials, short supply, daily necessities, short supply. Between supplying materials to the mines and the war's sudden outbreak, our stock of the above mentioned has heavily dwindled as a result. The situation must be addressed immediately, yet aid from the kingdom is not possible. With panic among our people elevated, commandeering supply from private enterprise may only serve to worsen conditions. OK. 
Okay. Um, alright. We need to go outside. What do you got over here? I'm so glad Prince Roland's execution has been stayed. Still, I cannot help but wonder how he fares in the enemy's hands. Um, okay, Liberty. The scales may have decided our path, but that does not change the fact that I handled my own friend. That I handed my own friend over to our invaders. I haven't the right to fret over him. Please don't blame yourself, Lord Saranoa. We all know it was a difficult choice to make. Prince Roland himself knows that more than anyone, he may not be with us now, but that does not make you two any less of friends. I pray you are right. I assure you, my lord, Ma, any anger he feels is for the nation that forced this choice upon you. If only there were a way for us to strike back at those as frosty bastards. First S. Frost, now Hyzant. Just what do they want with House Wolford? I thought we were allies. Norzelia was meant to know true peace. We even held a celebration for our new mining venture. Don't they have any shame? The other great powers of this realm view us as vulnerable prey, but we will make them see the error of their ways. Yes, sir. Both nations are not but thieves looking to steal our land. They'll learn to fear the warriors of House Wolfort in due time. Our house must stand together now more than ever. I'm counting on you. Sorry, I'm still so stuffed up, guys. Alright, so we can't go out into the town, it looks like. So that means we just have a choice to make. Alright, so let's see. We refuse Silvio's offer here. Okay. So this is where we did Sorcely's aid before. Okay, so my guess is is that at nine we will come back together. There seems to be this like center path and this nine does come back to that center path, so. I might side with S Frost in this one, but what that means is that we'll be fighting Hyzant again and Hyzant sucks to fight. I hate fighting Hyzant. But, huh, what do I want to do? Let's, um... Yeah, so let's see. Esros aid and fight Sorcely. And then Hewitt are on that side. Conspire with Sorcely to launch a surprise attack on Esfrost. Frederica and Eridor. Yeah, we're gonna try going for, um, except Esfrost, aid and fight Sorcely this time. We're gonna see where that path takes us. Okay, so, um, Frederica and Eridor are the ones that we need to convince. Saranoa. Kustodov was the one who started this war. Hyzant may have its own motivations for marching against us, but I cannot see... See, I cannot see us allying with Esfrost. Why do you believe it better we, j we join forces with Esfrost and not Hyzant? We haven't the power to resist the duchy. Turning on them now may put Roland in, ev in even more danger. Is that so? Roland's plural. Prince Roland's life is in danger because of Esfros. We know that they plan on executing him sooner or later. 
Time is of the essence. If you wish to save him, I would think it better to ally with Hyzant and defeat his captors. I find myself at a loss, Frederica. Would you mind speaking to me a moment more? Of course not. I would know what is on your mind, Serenella. Okay. Roland will live so long as we are useful to Esfros, and so long as he lives, there will be a chance for us to save him. Surely. So we must be useful to the duchy if we were to help Prince Roland. Gustadolf is certainly not the type to dispose of a useful pawn. It is time someone used such callousness against him. Okay, that seemed to go fairly well on that second option. What do you think? Our backs may be up against a wall, but I still won't join forces with those Esfrosty bastards. They took Prince Roland from us and destroyed House Fox. I won't see him solely in House Wolfort's good name any longer. You want us to ally with Esfrost? Are you out of your mind? The Duchy has control of Glenbrook. It would be unwise for us to cut off our ties with them so rashly. Hmm. Even if we allied with Heisen, there's no guarantee they'll give us their aid. And suppose we did win against the Duchy, they might cut off our trade with the rest of Glenbrook and leave the people high and dry. It might be in the people's best interest for us to keep our heads bowed to Esfrost, though I won't soon be forgetting why we're in this position in the first place. Alright, that seemed to go pretty well as well. All right, Anna. I... Oh, no. We're good on Anna. We need to convince... Um... Gila and... Um... And you, We must Benedict. decide. Each nation has its strengths and weaknesses. We must carefully consider which would best serve us in battle. I wonder what the others might be thinking. Um, we should accept the Duchy's aid and fight sourcely together. So you would suggest we join forces with Esfrost? I must admit, I'm curious as to your reasons, my lord. See, and we know this is probably not true. He might be act- he's probably acting on his own. Our forces sustained a heavy blow in the recent battles. It would be unwise for us to take on Esfrost at this time. Even if we were to ally with Hyzant, we cannot be sure of how much aid they would provide us. Ah. And regardless of the amount, there is no guarantee they would not use, use us as pawns later. It is as you said, my lord. It may yet be too early for us to strike back at the duchy. Certainly If you don't not. mind continuing, I would like to hear more of your reasoning. It may be a good opportunity for you to examine your own thoughts. Might is right in Esfrost. If we defeat Hyzant in battle, we may win the Duchy's favor and find a way to best them in turn. Certainly Indeed, not. Indeed, displaying our power to Esfrost is one of the paths before us. But I must warn you that the Archduke is not a man so easily bested. You mean to say that Gustadolf would crush those who are of no use to him, as well as those who pose even the slightest threat? Just so. There is a reason he stands at the pinnacle of a nation, only the strong thrive. And? He is a man obsessed with victory, and not else. That being said, it raises the question of whether or not he would want to be vassals of, that we would want to be vassals of such a nation. Indifferent to your plea, okay? We did not go the right route with him. I think... My knowledge of both nations has caused me quite the dilemma. While I am concerned about fighting alongside the clannish holy state, I cannot bring myself to put my faith in the duchy either. What are your thoughts, Lord Serenoa? We'll fight sorcely. So you would prefer to fight alongside Esfrost? Might I inquire as to why? I don't actually want to, but...
We haven't the leisure of investigating Hyzant's motives, and it would be dangerous for us to join hands with a nation we know so little about. Uh-huh. You mean to say that Esfrost is a safer option between the two? I suppose there is some merit in dealing with the danger you can see, rather than fumbling around in the dark. Alright. Um, there is nothing that we need to loot, right? Not seeing any shinies. Let's do it. It is time to cast our votes. Do we join forces with the army of Esfrost? Or do we approach the scales of conviction Oops, with your token at the ready? On this, I cannot be swayed. Okay. I wholeheartedly agree. I have no qualms with that. You have changed my mind, Lord Serenella. You won me over. You have my vote, lad. The scales of conviction will illuminate the path we've chosen. I thought, uh... I thought Benedict would be an easy one to convince. He didn't seem to have uh, reasons either way, so we must have really failed on convincing him, huh? Okay. It's so funny that he's the one that wants to conspire with Sorsley in this knowing what he does in our last route. The way forward is decided. We ally with the Grand Duchy of Esfrost and decimate the Byzantian forces. And I mean, obviously, like, we want to get liberty right now to get our last character, but not a big deal. We have plenty of chances to get more liberty, so I'm doing this the based on the choice that decided. I actually want to do. We shall join forces with Esfrost to crush the Byzantian army. I shall send word at once to begin planning our strategy. I'll tell the guards to shut the gates and tighten their patrols. Thank you, and let us attend to our duties. Well, the storm is complete. And this is where we're going to end this episode. So, thank you all for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Have a good one, everybody. I'd like to give a very special shout out to my patron supporters, Darren York, ZTD, Seventh Son, Louis D, Ivan K, Len, HLLJ, Knife Namase, Caleb Adkins, and Jordan and Emily Hill. If you would also like to join this tier or any others, check out my memberships or my Patreon in the description down below.